I still live in the sticks where you wouldn't go In the town of 1200 off an old dirt road Cause the country boy is all I'll ever be I'ma keep it written, got a pole with your child You're back, um I know the quality is really crappy right now I don't know what's up, it does better outside than inside, I don't know if it's just my lighting or just like my light, because I only have one light in that and then I have that light, but I will turn on the other big light so you guys can see, I am, actually I'm uploading it right now while taking a video, <laughs> um, it took that one about two, three weeks ago, um, the video that's going to go up, um, I end up driving my mud mower home and I am currently working on just working the tweaks out and everything like that I shredded completely shredded the belt when driving it home so I had a actually some guy pulled over and actually offered me for a ride so yeah baby faces back just I had a funeral to go to last Last weekend, um, it was my great grandpa, the one that gave me the '69 Chevy. So it was really hard. I promised him whenever I got it going and everything like that, good, that I would take him for a ride, and I don't think that's gonna happen anymore. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I even took a video or anything about the cemetery, but that's where he got buried at. So, yeah, it's been a rough week for me, so I'm just trying to get my mind off stuff. But, so I ended up driving my mower home, actually, before that happened. My, oh, my motorized bicycle runs fine. And everything, it runs good. Like, honestly, I could pop wheelies with it now, and actually, um, but, I'm working on my mud mower, got the back rack, got the emergency brake kit. Um, if you, I, hopefully tomorrow I'll be actually going mudding. I will be bringing extra belts because I don't want to strut a belt and be in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> um, the one that I have on it now, it is going, I think. I don't know. I looked down in between my little gear shifter and it looked like it was a little frayed but not bad. I don't even remember mine being frayed. It just quit working and then it got working again. I was like, okay, that's really weird. And then I was driving it back in, and I noticed it was really, really slow. I'm like, okay, that's really weird. So, next thing you know, I'm just revving it up, and it won't go anywhere. I'm like, great. <laughs> um, my front camera really sucks. I need to switch to my uh, rear camera, but it's gonna have to work for now, so I can actually see my face. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my face. I'm not actually looking at the camera. I need to look at the camera. Um, but yeah, um, I'm working on my mud mower here. I was, I made this little gas pedal for it. It mounts just with a regular hinge. Oh, you can't see that hinge. And then it's made out of a spoon. And actually, it doesn't really bend that much. But it does work really, really well. It's just that I don't know if I can use it because I need to get the fender off and come in here. But no, I decided to name my mower Jake Break. Because my grandpa, when I very first got it, like the night actually I got it, we got it running and stuff like that. Um, well, if you guys don't know, this is a 2002 um, Yard Machines 20 horsepower, yes, Yard Machines uh, MTD variable speed V20. 20 horsepower V twin, so it has that variable speed bullshit that supposedly is not good, which it isn't. I, oh well, don't care. I need to. I'm only running a pulley swapped on the back. It did go about 25 whenever I actually had that belt on it. The, that belt actually lost a long time. I do have another belt. The other belt's actually in the one thing. Where to go? There it is. I just ordered this belt. It's blue. Um, I think I'm running. 
Yeah, it's over there. Before we wait. Um, but yeah, I'm. I think it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio. I don't know how to determine a uh, ratio on an MTD mower, but I know how to like determine a one on like a uh, craftsman and crap like that. Cause my actually my friend. Oh, I got two free riding mowers. Free. I got a uh, 75 John Deere 214. I am actually getting that actually ready. I'm not changing it into a mud mower. No. I want to keep it. I'm sorry, there's something blurry right here. I don't know why it's still blurry. <laughs> if I turn on bigger, bigger light. Oh, yeah, that's way better. But, um,. I am actually keeping that somewhat original. I'm making it safe. Um, I got it running and stuff like that. The ignition was bad on it. So what I did, there's a purple wire going to a transmission neutral safety switch to a, a PTO neutral safety switch. I snipped that. Yes, I snipped it. Then there's also another one going to the lights that is just yellow and it's just dangling for like a backup one or something like that. If I ruin the lights, wires, and anything, I'm going to replace it because I have wiring skills in my thing. But I'm actually pretty good at wiring now. I don't know how, but I completely wired up this mower when it seemed to work fine. But, so I snipped that and it wasn't turned, like it would start run perfectly fine, run smooth, then dive, and then it wouldn't even turn over when I turned the key. It's like, that's my girlfriend. But then, everything, so I just hooked up a push button to it, like I did to my mower. I really don't care. You guys can all say, don't do it, don't do it. Don't care. It's going to be used for mowing, and I don't have a toggle switch to shut it off or anything like that. Actually, I have to turn the key to on, then push the boat button, and it'll start, and then I turn the key off, and it'll run. Or not run, turn off, I mean. But yeah, I am working on my hood of my mud mower. I have to But, so I named my mud mower Jake Brake, okay? I'm probably gonna switch this around real quick, actually. Yes, that is a gun book. I am using it so it won't wobble. So here's my hood mower. Look, I taped it all up right here, and I drew Jake Brake in it. So yes, that I, then I carved it out. It's not pretty. I don't want it to look pretty. I want it to actually look like this. Not gonna lie. I want it to look like, I want it to look unique. I don't want it to have racing stripes and shit like that. See, I want the jade to be like that. I want it to be weird. I want it to be curvy. Because my mower is retarded. <laughs> it runs when it wants to. Don't mind that. That's what my girlfriend got me that for Valentine's Day. So, I was working on this side and I ran out of tape. So I had to get more and I'm like, wait a minute. Why am I doing not a video of this? So, that's what I'm going to do. But, alright, I'm going to probably see if I can fast forward this because I think I figured out how to do it on the editing app. I can do it. So, and then I'll just probably butcher it up in pieces or something like that. Um, so, yeah, what I do, I basically do all this until up to here, what you can see on that side. And then I write the, I actually spell in permanent sharpie. Jake break, just really weird, curvy, and then I use that to cut it out, and then I use that to try not scratching it up as much as possible. So yeah, that's what I do, and got my my flag. Um, yeah, I took off the stickers of my hood and I put one of those up there, and I don't care. Uh, whoa, that was disgusting. Alrighty, let's get...
Hey y'all, um, I got a lot carved out and everything like that, that's what that looks like, that's what that, uh, E looked like that I was seeing in the background, um, you don't have to use black or anything like that, um, I know I kind of sounded like that before, but, you don't have to, you can use actual regular silver duct tape or something like that, I just use black because that's what I had the most of. I do have silver duct tape, but I didn't think I had enough of it. Um, so, just to be clear, you don't have to use black or anything like that. It's just that's what I used. Um, probably should have used silver so I can actually see it better so you guys actually will be able to see it. Um, at least on one side or something like that. But, I didn't, um, uh, sorry about that, but, I'm, I'm occupied right now, I'm just tuning the J up right now, tuning up, the yeah, trimming up the J, alrighty, but, after you do it, this, make sure you have a nice, sh clean razor blade, um, but after you're done with all that, make sure everything is padded down pretty nicely around, around, I already did that on that side. I have not done this yet, but I'm pretty sure once I spray paint it, it's going to leak down or something like that in it if you don't pat it down or something. Because once you pull up, it does pull up a little bit of the thing if you don't cut it good enough. Um, but yeah, just make sure you pat it down every single corner. I'm going to actually go outside real quick, spray paint this, so it'll probably be ready tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, gotta make sure my battery's charged. It was breaking clean, but I'm gonna leave it on the charger because that's charge slash maintainer. Um, so, yeah, um, I will not be able to show you guys my motor right now at the moment. Um, because it's underneath the tarp, and I do not want to get it up, because it's a pain in the ass to get up. And also, it's disassembled, I want to show you guys whenever it's actually all together. Um, my emergency roadside a kiss, a kiss, uh, kit is an ammo box. I got that idea off of, yes, I'm stealing ideas, I don't care. I just do what other people do because it helps them and actually is more benefit for them so it benefits me too if I do the exact same thing. Um, uh, he mounted, he actually has a Murray, it's called, he, his YouTube channel is Fearless Front, he does mud mowers, he has two mud mowers at the moment, pretty sure he has two mud mowers, no he has three or four, I don't know how many. Um, the one to the one that actually started off the channel was the Murray. He that thing is a racing machine. He built that off road racing, which he still does take it mudding, but then he has the Sears. That's the diesel Sears. Um that's the trail rig and everything. That's the trail rig rescue. I think I actually pull a car. Um a truck uphill actually, and a slight uphill, but not much. Um uh, yeah, I got that off him. I have a bunch of stuff. I just mounted it on my back rack, though. He, uh, relocated his battery so he can have that in it. He always carries a quart of oil, too. Just to never know. Like, honestly, that's pretty actually smart. Um, the place that we will probably be going mudding the most pop the most often, because I still live in town, um, is Finger Lakes. It's probably about 30 minutes away from where I live. Um, so I have to have a flag and everything, so that's why I put an ATV mount rack on it, so I can actually put a mount, a uh, flag on it, Jesus. And then, my other friend, he's building a mud mower, and he has two, um, four-wheelers over there, too. He has a really big four-wheeler that is being an asshole right now, because it won't start, and the starter button is sticking on him. I told him to get some, uh, 
heat gun or something. I think it might be a little frozen in there. And then his keys frozen out. I told him a heat gun or air dryer or something like that. Um, actually, I told him an air dryer because heat gun probably will melt the plastic around it. But um, uh, or slightly. I don't know if there's electronic electrical like lube or something like that I don't know uh, I'm not thinking there is but eh, I don't think it'll work I don't know actually false it still does work I sprayed down where to go this initial switch right here I found this in a barn and it was sticking real badly but I sprayed it down let it dry actually I didn't even let it dry all the way um, but then, um, uh, and it actually still had power going all the way through it and everything, so, that's the lubricant I was using, it's actually see, it actually seals the wet, um, but, yeah, um, probably just spray that in it, and then heat it up, and then get it sprayed, lightly sprayed, because I didn't douse that thing in it. I probably doubt that I probably would have ruined it, but I just lightly sprayed in it. But yeah, I am going to. I already prepped the surface before. I don't want to spray any more cleaner on it because I don't want to risk ruin the tape over this. So I actually get a clean um, paint and no rundown. Like I'm not looking for perfection. I want it to be un unique. Um. I want it to be really weird, actually. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, I'm going to grab the paint and probably actually bring you guys out there along. I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Outside. I don't let my dog down anyway, so. I'm just going to do a white coat and then probably tomorrow morning or before I go to bed today. I guess uh, do a little bit more up here. So I did get a little bit on there, but I do this side real quick. Yes, I am doing on the concrete. I don't care because it is snowed out, as you can tell. It's actually working really good. I'm surprised. I hope my dogs don't pee on it now. Yeah. Um, here, I'll take you out. I should probably show you because I do have a light. That's a good light. As you can tell, there's my mower. Um, it does have. Four LEDs, six inch. Those I got a little muddy last day. Guess I was actually mudding. But yeah. Um, and just look. I'll get it out for tomorrow or something like that. Just follow up. Um. Yeah. Here's the other side painted. That here's I can tell. I can show you guys. That's where I got. A little bit of paint on it, but honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I'm really surprised. As you guys are looking at it, I'm actually inspecting it too. It really does blend in. It looks like I just taped it over. Yeah, from distance, it looks like I just kind of paint, painted the top. What are you guys barking at? Really? Stop barking. 
we are going to hopefully blow up that and that. Yeah, there's that flag I was talking about. It's cold outside. I don't think that's going to... It's probably like in the negative or something like that. I don't know. I know it was in the morning it was negative. That's my setup for my tripod. Anyways. Yeah, it's probably really disgusting to look at, but that's just the normal peeing spot now. Can you guys shut up? Come on, let's get inside. Don't touch it. Nope, blue. You're gonna touch it, aren't you? Get away from it. Come on, Rem. Come on, blue. Put this inside before it explodes. I don't know if it'll explode with the heat. Alrighty. I can probably put this inside too. But, yeah, I'm probably going to put this up somewhere other than there. So the dogs won't fuck with it. Well, I'm probably on top of that or that one. Oh, fuck, maybe I'll put it on top of there. I don't know if it's about to snow tonight or not, but I'll come out again, be right before I go to bed and put another layer on. Should be dry enough at least. It'll probably be a couple more hours or a few more hours. Probably four or five, somewhere around there. I don't know what time it is now. It is almost nine. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go lay that actually right there. I just, yep. Okay. So yeah, um, I'll come back to you guys whenever tomorrow hits and show you guys the finished product. Alrighty then. Alrighty. I'm back. Um, as you saw last night, this is the next morning. Last night, I, yeah, it was actually this side I showed you guys how I like to do. I'm going to, I spray painted that one time, you guys showed it, and then I went to bed two hours after I did that. And I spray painted it again right before I went to bed. So now, I'm actually going to peel off really slowly and see how it, turned out um if I don't like it oh well I'm gonna have to stay because yeah it's kind of permit now oh if I didn't run too bad or anything I'm gonna start off the top I don't know how well this is gonna actually do I do have I think a lot better lighting because I actually opened my window because it's actually daytime out. Um, let's go for a big check now. I did get a little bit right there. No, that was that's from whenever my friend actually was spray paint spray painted it. He my spray paint and just started spraying at it and I was like hey my last can damn it he's like oh sorry and then did it again I'm like what the hell as you can have it tell my friend dicks okay here's the first one actually it will be shown of the actually of the K and the E so let's see So far, too, so good. I like that. It hasn't really. I don't know what that was. But I always lace over the tape so it actually would be easier. I don't know if you can even see it. Yeah, you can. Alrighty, here's the second one. Alrighty. Now I'm probably gonna have to get something actually out so I can carve in between those. It's kind of gonna be hard. I didn't think about that. But I got the stuff to do that. She turned out way better than I thought. Here, let me get something on my tools. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, yeah. All right. This one's good. This one's good. I'm gonna focus on this one. 
I'm just gonna pop it up right in the middle. I don't want to ruin the paint that I just painted. Let's see if we can just move this E real quick. And I also found out when you're doing this, if you did it exactly like mine, how you started off at the bottom, it'd be easier if you actually start, if you're peeling up, not up, but like whenever you're actually cutting them all out and stuff, it'd be easier to start at the bottom than it is to like peel down. It's easier to peel up because actually you get a big strip like I just did. I like this so far. Looks actually was kind of somewhat professional done. As earlier I said, I didn't want it professionally be done because of, I want it to be. Deep. There's one letter almost completely done. Yeah, there you go. That's one of them done. All right. Um, let's see if I can get this one done. This one should take a lot of it out. This one, this little piece right here, if I do it correctly. I got a lot on the tape, so it's like peeling and everything. Oh well. I'm gonna rip that piece off. It looks actually really better than, way better than I thought it was going to turn out. I thought this was going to be really like crappy and just a bunch of weird little details. Which, that's what I was actually kind of going to. Because I want someone to look at it and say, oh, did you make that yourself? Like, yeah, do you have a problem with it or something like that? I don't want someone to look at it, oh my god, he spent a lot of money on it. No, I don't want that. I want it to be, what the hell is that thing? It's kind of neat. If you get what I'm trying to say. I don't want no one to look at it. I say, ew, what the hell? Get off my finger. Tape sticking to my finger. It did. I did let it dry overnight outside. It is pretty cold outside, so... Actually, it looks like it did dry pretty well, though. I'm really impressed about that. I was worried about actually starting to peel it off and everything. It is around noon right now where I live. I don't know where any of you guys else live at, so... And I kind of don't want to know because I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm just peeling off one section at a time. I'm gonna actually sit down because this hurt. Make sure it's actually still going because it says it was out of storage, but then it still keeps on. Going. Ow! I want to make this in just little sections as possible to get it so I don't mess anything up. So, yes, I am gonna just come down right here. I just want little sections as possible so I don't mess anything up. Take your time. This is my first time actually doing this. I kind of messed up right there, but no rundowns. I'm really surprised. Um, 
I mean, not really surprised, but like I'm really like happy about that because I was trying not to get any rundowns. Ooh. The break is almost done on Jake break. Um. Okay. Actually, it's the black duct tape that I'm using. If you haven't told, haven't told. Well, I didn't really do anything. There we go. I'm just start at the bottom. Go up. I told my mom, like, you know how hard it is to actually make letters and stuff out of it because I was trying to actually make it completely out of letters and then I was actually like make it bubble letters and I thought about this and I was like oh my god this is way easier so I did it this way let me see if I can turn this pretty sure you guys can still see it I'm just using a putty knife right now it really don't matter what you use I'm just using a putty knife because that's what I have you could probably use a small flathead screwdriver but this is what I'm using. Because, honestly, I kind of like it for one thing. Like, the big parts, as you just saw, it, it makes it right up and over. So like this, I can just go push up. Ooh, I thought I just... That's factory. Yeah, man, here. My dog's going to go nuts. Alright, I'm going to cut. There it goes. There. Alright. Big. I'm going big. I'm going for a home. I'm going for a home run. Ooh, look at there. I like that. I won't be able to go that big for the rest of the thing then. I don't think I'll be able to show you guys Jake Break today, but I will be doing videos on it here soon. Um, just because of, I'm kind of busy today of doing random things around the house, and my stepdad wants my help, so I gotta help him. Like I said, I'm not going for any really like good autistic skills or anything like that. I'm just going for whatever the hell it does. I'm going to keep it like this. I don't care if I like it or not. I'm still going to keep it like this. Had it up and I was about to pull on it, and then it fell back down and got stuck again. <laughs> There's no of my luck. Oh, 
hands are already hurting. This is just the first one. The tape actually really stuck really good. I'm really surprised for Dollar General tape. Dang it, stop sticking back down. Probably gonna give it a rest and eat whatever the heck is actually cooking because I don't know what's cooking. Could turn out really well. Feels weird. This will probably stick for a while. I don't know. It is spray paint, so hopefully it sticks. someone's here. The only rundown I could possibly think of that I found is really none except for this little dot right here. You probably can't see it. Um, oh, that's bad. I hit it with the sharp edge of the putty knife and it's making dots in it. Um, but anyway, I don't care. Um, I probably should have put a line in between here to actually form a B but anyone everyone will get it it's called Jake break see what it actually looks like on yeah, you guys can see it pretty well that was 15 min minutes of me god dang it's gonna be a long video um yeah that's what that side done I'm gonna show you what it looks like after I'm done on both sides I don't know if I can get rid of these. Probably gonna take a little water brush to it because I don't care if I scratch it. The only problem is, I think whenever I go mudding, I'm probably gonna go in a well wooded area and I'm gonna get stuck. Most likely. But the trees and everything is scratching up against this and ruining Jake Brake's hood. Ha, <laughs> you funny. I don't as you can tell I don't care but no I'm actually worried about I don't care about the paint actually itself I'm worried about this stuff the J, the break J break but it did turn out way better than I thought um actually way better I thought I can smell lunch I think we're having breakfast for lunch so yeah I'm gonna go eat that and pause for a little bit and then come back and do the other side and then show you guys it. I won't film the other side, but yeah. Ready. Okay, y'all. I'm back after lunch three hours ago because I decided to do something else, which I just got done with this, actually. I had, I took the front the uh, fenders uh, well not the fenders uh, where your feet goes the floorboards on well floorboards I don't know what you call them but here's the other side done of the removing all the duct tape and revealing the word Jake Bake on it actually I kind of like it I just wish I can get rid of all that which I do have goop off which I'm afraid if I use that goop off. It will get rid of the paint. The only problem with this, as you can see, is out of there. It did kind of bubble up on this side. And this side is going to run down a little bit. But it's not that bad for just duct tape and then cutting it out. There's the other side. All done. I can see that. Yeah, um. Right now, my brother's actually playing on my Xbox, so... Yeah, I'm taking these out, and I'm actually... Because... Let me see if I can find them. This is what they had in them holding in 
it's actually the really good mount and I don't like these because it's actually a bit like it's a Phillips so what I got I had got a lot of spare parts and I had these I just had to bolt, bolt on it so I don't lose any they are a little bit longer but they do work still um I did go outside and tighten them all the way down and it was just basically a, a lock washer so I put I'm gonna put this bolt on it which is I think it's a half inch pretty sure it's a half inch yeah it's a half inch size which is B for everything else um so I put a, a half inch bolt and I'm gonna put a washer then the lock washer and I'm gonna it's gonna be in between these it's basically gonna be right here just without that and then there's actually a rot that goes in between here and then um, on these right here there's there's the mounting bracket right here and right there it would just have these and lock washers that's it they were using this as a washer and I don't like that idea probably also gonna redo these because all this has is just washers no lock washers either I got plenty of lock washers to go for days but what I'm doing here is because I actually have a stud just go out in here so I'm going to when I put this back on put that on like that put a washer then a lock washer and then these so actually stay together and then they had big holes are here smaller like my pinky can fit to that one but my pinky can't fit to the other one so I had to get a little bit bigger washers there to go there so actually it'll fit right um yeah so these are all also half inch um that's gonna work really nice good uh oh why is that over here I just figured it out. Oh, I only need four because that's how many. Yeah, there's like six holes, but I only need four. One, two, three, four. And I need one in the middle. I don't know what that's in for, but there's none there to mount on. So, I don't know. Same on this side. I only need four. Get rid of that. Gonna put that in my storage bin just in case if I need it later on. Is that same on this side? I got another half inch bolt. Exact same. Um. The other half inch bolts are here. Make sure I have everything before actually. I'm gonna take these off. There's a mount for the rear uh, fenders and back thing. I am gonna fix this because this does move a lot. I don't like that. I'm gonna try fixing that while it's in here. Probably gonna clean them up too. I don't know what that's for. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna clean them up. But yeah, that's what's going on in my room right now. Okay. I'm probably gonna end the video right here because there's really nothing else to do besides clean. Um. So yeah. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um. More mud mower videos coming here soon. Um. Yeah, just please like and subscribe. Comment down below if you like the name Jake Break for my mower. I don't know, I just randomly thought about it. I was looking at it and I said, what about Jake Break? Because my parents put a Jake Break sticker the very first night I got it on it. So, yeah, please like and subscribe and peace.